everyone i welcome you to a very special event where we are the toppers of rai international school nerul today i feel privileged to take an interview of the toppers of this prestigious school congratulations to all the achievers for scoring such good marks please share with us the secret of your success i did not have any specific strategy or i just prepared it for like it's a normal exam i was consistent in studying and um, i uh, followed the advices given to me by my teachers the tips and the tricks that they gave us i uh, uh, understood the concept clearly read the chapter thoroughly and i did not stress out too much i studied for 3 to 4 hours a day i think that was enough for me school well and my parents also supported me and guided me a lot so i guess that's all is behind i had been thorough with my book i read it as many times as you can like i've read it uh, more than 4 to 5 times underlined important words and you know uh, the key words and made notes and then i just refer to them during the exams and then follow the guidance which is given by your teachers uh, they have all the tips and techniques how to prepare for your board exams so just note them i have noted them down and i have just uh, done that in my exam in my opinion i don't really believe in working hard or uh, studying 5 to 6 hours a day what you have to do is work smart and i didn't a uh, set a time limit for myself when i used to study i just used to say i am going to study this concept today and once i did it i used to play video games or cook or do whatever i wanted so my first advice is please don't overstress yourself you absolutely can get good marks just for studying 1 to 2 hours a day you don't have to study 5 to 6 hours the second thing is you can learn a lot from real life just because you are having leisure doesn't mean that you're not learning Uh, for this i would like to share an example before my english one exam all i do is i study the formats for one to two hours and then i always watch english movies or tv shows and my mom hates this but i think it's really good and that's because if you look for words or phrases in the english tv shows that you don't use very often and if you try to use it in your essay it creates variety and you can earn more marks that way so basically what i'm saying learn from the most unconventional sources and you can learn even in your leisure time you don't have to study too much that's all i want when the results were out what were the things coming in your mind extremely nervous at first because only four exams had been conducted so for the rest four i was really nervous but i knew the four exams that i wrote uh, i knew that i was going to score well in those so i was not that much stressed out but uh, when i got to know the marks i was really thrilled i did not expect I was expecting 95% or more than that but 99 was a shock to me as well so, but I am extremely satisfied right now. I was very very nervous before the exams because uh, only 6 papers were taken and the 4th papers depended upon how the method- methodology was applied. So uh, and as soon as I got it I was very 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 happy because I had worked hard all this year for this day and I think my hard work had paid off well mostly it was relief because uh, for our exams this year it was really uncertain whether uh, the exams are going to happen or not if the would conduct the remaining exams we had no idea whether we were going to revise or should we continue with further studies so definitely the biggest thing was we had a huge relief when we saw that the results were being announced would you like to give a message to the next batch i would say first of all don't be stressed out If you're stressed, take it easy on yourself. Don't be too harsh on yourself. You're your own critic. Uh, you know how much you can do. So set realistic goals and try to achieve them. Don't uh, overdo it. Uh, take some time out for extra curricular activities as well. And don't be stressed out. Follow the advice given by your teachers and encourage others. Firstly, don't take studies as a burden. because uh, there are so many new and interesting things which you are going to learn in 10 so enjoy it and secondly read the book uh, as many times as you can and be thorough with it thirdly uh, listen to the guidance and tips given by the teachers and jot them down whenever they are given to you because that is going to help you score marks in your board exams my primary advice is don't overstress yourself if you don't study for 5 hours a day it's completely fine Uh, it's okay if you only study one hour a day or even less than that. 
what you have to focus on is efficient study you just have to set in mind how many topics you have to complete today doesn't matter if it takes 30 minutes or an hour or 2 hours once i complete my topics i get to uh, going on to my leisure time and playing video games and stuff. so you don't have to study too much just set a goal for yourself study that much and you'll be completely fine once again congratulations to all the achievers thank you for your precious time and all the best for your future endeavors this is why jisdan signing off for rand tv